Well, it seems not only is the media and lots of the press kind of outright talking about and criticizing many things that Disney has been doing, especially when it comes to the theme parks. And then we had Ariana Grande pleading with Disney not to change Tower of Terror like they did out in Disneyland. And now we have another celebrity, Josh Gad, that recently went to Disney World and is commenting on the current status of the Figment attraction at Epcot. So I figured this would be an interesting article here to read through and give some thoughts on. So that's what we're going to do here. So hi, I'm Jared with Capture the Magic. And this story here is from WDWNT. And it says, Disney legend Josh Gad publicly presses Imagineers for a new Figment ride at Epcot. Now, first right off the bat, I'm not a Josh Gad fan. I think the funniest thing he ever did was when he had a guest role on New Girl. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show where he played Bear Claw. I think that is the funniest thing Josh Gad has ever done. Outside of that, I know people like him for Olaf. He's not somebody I think is that entertaining. I don't know. For me, I just don't care. But I know a lot of people, especially Disney fans, really like Josh Gad. But he does go to the parks a lot. So I suppose he does have a little bit of at least you know, ability to speak on this because he is somebody that goes to the parks quite a bit. Says what Josh Gad was visiting Walt Disney World as a celebrity narrator for the 2024 Candlelight Processional at the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. He spoke for Disney fans everywhere with his social media posting. Says Journey into Imagination with Figment is not an attraction worthy of the park's mascot Figment. While Disney has been more than willing to cash in on Figment's popularity over the last few years, including mountains of merchandise during various festivals, and most notably the extremely popular release of the first popcorn bucket in 2022, they've been very quiet about updating the attraction, which fans overwhelmingly want to see replaced with something better for the lovable Purple Dragon. As somebody who has smaller children, our daughter used to love this ride, and it is a terrible attraction. Like, I know I'm, I'm not one of those people that really cares much about Figment, personally speaking, but obviously he has his fan base, and he's kind of become the mascot of the Epcot festivals, and the ride is in terrible, terrible shape. Like, it's just, it's a sad state of how that ride is, and in fact, the best part of that ride is actually the exit area, because we have small kids. There's tons of things the kids do there to play in that area blow off some steam and they even have character meet and greets in that area so i would argue the best part of that attraction is actually the exit of it for various reasons it says on his recent visit gad the tony award nominated and grammy winning actor and singer noted that the ride wasn't up to par stating on his instagram it says hey at walt disney imagineering give call me we need to give this guy the ride update he deserves uh, says glad an unapologetic disney fan who officially became a disney legend in 2022 is already featured across the park at epcot as he is the voice of olaf and on frozen ever after uh they are going to say there have been several moments over the past few years when disney fans had reasons for hope well i don't know if i'd go that far but in 2022 chairman of disney experiences josh diamaro announced a new figment meet and greet for Epcot, and many fans expressed hope that Disney understood the fan community appetite for an attraction revamp. Guests have been patiently waiting for the other show to drop. I'm guessing they meant shoe, maybe? Uh, so to speak. And for Disney to finally put a good attraction back in the Imagination Pavilion. At this point, the current version of the ride is the longest running, outliving what was considered one of the greatest theme park rides in history. So sadly, there have been no announcements made about improving the attraction to make it more befitting the beloved Purple Dragon with a runaway imagination. And the original journey they talk about was created by Tony Baxter and Steve Kirk and kind of go into the history of that. So, I mean, if we're if we're talking a scenario here where uh, the fan base wants something and, and really wanting Disney to react to that, I think recent history or even the past five to ten years would show I don't know if they have much interest in doing that. That doesn't seem like they're really, you know, if you look at the Muppet situation, which I guess you could make an argument on that front that they actually are moving, you know, at least Muppets theming into rock and roller coaster. I, I guess that could be argued as hearing the fan base on some level, but Disney's kind of notorious for being very slow to react in general, whether it becomes taking popular IPs to put them into the theme parks. So look at, I mean, still with Frozen, you still don't have Arendelle, but even with, what you had with Frozen Ever After, it took a while before that ride actually got into a theme park after the massive success that was the first Frozen movie. So when it comes to actually giving fans what they want, if it's not a really popular IP, Disney doesn't seem to really have much motivation to do it. And you look at the Muppets, again, you look at Figment. Figment's this type of thing where, again, they like to throw him up for festivals, and they know 
knowing that it plays to the you know hardcore Disney fan base, but when it comes to actually revamping the ride, they don't seem to have much interest. They probably don't want to spend the money because they probably figure at the end of the day, the same amount of people are going to ride this ride, whether they fix it up or leave it as it is. But I suppose on some level, if you do have enough people talking about it, if you get enough celebrities, I suppose that could start saying stuff that would start making them feel a little pressure. You could see something there. Now, I don't know if they much care about Josh Gad saying anything about this and who knows if they even see it or they care. And, you know, we had another video talking about Disney not posting recent changes to the theme parks or the Snow White movie trailer on social media because I think they kind of don't want to hear the negative backlash about things. So I have to wait and see, I suppose, if this does anything. But honestly speaking, as Disney currently is, especially with Epcot and the overhaul of Epcot. I mean, you can like it, I suppose. I think from what was presented to what we ended up with at Epcot, it's pretty underwhelming. And especially when you look at various aspects of Epcot that still need a lot of TLC, I think Figment's area would be one of them, as there's still areas of this park that definitely seem dated that weren't even touched by this Epcot overhaul. And I would have assumed at one point, if you were going to overhaul Epcot, you would also include Figment in that. And I'm again, I'm not a Figment fan necessarily, but the ride's not great. You could do something relatively cheap to just spruce it up, do something different with it, uh, make it a much more enjoyable attraction or kind of base it off how the old one used to be because that is one that a lot of fans seem to like. But if I were to guess, I don't think Disney anytime soon is going to be doing anything to Figment because honestly, I don't think there's much money to be made off of changing the Figment ride. They sell merchandise off of Figment. People love the merchandise. They will buy the merchandise. He's sort of the, the mascot of the festivals. But when it comes to rides for Disney, like Figment, they probably don't look at it as a ride that's going to make them direct money. And fans of Figment are going to be really the only ones that are going to check it out. It's not a really relevant character. Kids aren't really aware of them outside of maybe their parents or other people telling them about it. They're not on television. They're not in movies. So more than likely, I think this ride is just going to continue to sort of sit and I don't know if you want to call it rot or just continue to age in Epcot and uh, outside of maybe some minor refurbishments here and there. I don't think we're going to see anything new come to Figment. If I were to guess for sure in the next five years, but if I were to guess in the next decade, maybe they come around to it at some point. But I don't think there's much motivation for them because at the end of the day, they just want to do things that make them money. And revamping Figment is not something that they see is going to make them money even though that would appease the fan base. I don't really, again, I don't think they have much interest in just appeasing the fan base. I think they have much more interest in making money that might also appease the fan base on some level. But I suppose if they get enough uproar about this, enough maybe other celebrities start speaking out about this, I suppose it could put pressure on Disney to do this. But for the time being, I think Figment is probably staying just exactly how it is outside of some holiday things, sweaters they throw on Figment for Christmas. It's probably all you're really going to see for this ride. But either way, that's going to be it though for this video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel as we do lots of coverage here of Universal Studios, Epic Universe, Disney World, and pop culture. And let us know in the comments, do you think that Disney will revamp Figment anytime soon? And until next time, we will see you in the parks.